So, good evening, good morning, everyone. We are ready to start the post-match uh, uh, press conference. We have the glad and really pleasure to have here on stage Pep Guardiola, the head coach of Manchester City. We would like to congratulate for the victory and one more trophy this year. Please, your questions. We open the floor, Alex. A lot. We knew it for the moment, as in the season, uh, for the quality of the opponent, except the first 10 minutes, the second half, like we we want to win the game or recover the result of the game in 10 minutes in the final is a big mistake. Like we were lucky because Eddie, like in the final, the Inter de Milan, he saved us in the right moment. But in general, the game was really good and like we understand that every time the ball goes with Jack Grealish or Cole Palmer, and two or three players from Sevilla go to help the fullbacks. We should back, go to the opposite side, go to the opposite side a little bit more. The moment we understood that, we play better in the last uh, 30 minutes. The second half was really good. And uh, yeah, one week ago, we lost uh, for penalties, and this time we won it. Uh, that uh, terrific performance from Cole Palmer tonight, um, does that reduce the likelihood of him going out on loan this season? Uh, so I don't know. The opinion I had for when he arrived, he wanna leave. But now I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I don't think loan is going to happen. Uh, I was going to stay, I was going to sell, but I think loan is not going to happen. A little bit on his performance tonight. Uh, you have a character, a part of the goal. So he was a bit shy. It's not easy to play against defenders like Acuna, for example, is a top defender. Uh, uh, it's not easy, it's a final, he's a young player uh, playing these stages, it's not easy for these guys, so a player really, really good and make a fantastic goal too. Hi Pep, uh, first of all, big congratulations, I hope some smile from your side. <laughs> but uh, the second thing, uh, I think the second best player on, of the match today was Ederson, he made two huge saves, so what do you think about uh, his performance? Thank you. I said before, so I remember a lot, a lot of finals, but the keeper was the key key player, and uh, especially the, of course, the finish for Nesri was not perfect because could play right or left, and was in the middle, but he saved it. Another one with Ocampos, and that was the worst moments. But apart of that, the game was under control. The first half, I remember. Yeah, one chance, the goal, no more than that. And uh, we arrived in the crosses many times, in the byline, two or three or four times, the second half. Except that was, was the first 10 minutes, the second half. Uh, after when we control more the game and we turn them, we make more and more passes. And after we, we, we found the game, we control more the game. And we, yeah, and we... And we, at the end, we, we score, and, and, and the last minutes we had the feeling that it was a team could could score was us. And uh, yeah, it was a tight game normally. So if Sevilla scored the second goal, almost would have been impossible. Didn't happen, and at the end we found the right moment and we won. Pep, um, how did you feel the team caught without Kevin today? And have you made that decision yet on whether he's going to have surgery? Uh, Kevin is so important. We are going to miss him, I said yesterday, but uh, unfortunately it's what it is. Uh, so we have to recover soon John and Ruben and Bernardo, uh, important players for us, for the personality. We we play with the Josco coming for just a few days, and but in general the team, Manu play in a position that normally didn't play and, and play really, really good as well. So in general, it's, uh, yeah, we play... In general, I'm satisfied when I have the feeling. So yeah, we're doing well in not 90 minutes, but part of the game was was really good for the plan we had. But we have a lot of experience, have international players, exceptional keeper, so fullbacks and quality up front, the long balls every time with Ocampos and Nesri, the second balls. Oliver Torres has the quality to connect with the striker, so they play so direct. They don't have much process to the pass, but they play the ball quick up front and a lot of crosses and they are really good doing this, really, really good. And we defend not good in the goal, but we spoke a lot, we have to arrive in time to win the cross, but sometimes sometimes you cannot do it. But 
in general. After that, for example, to concede a goal, we played good. In the last 30 minutes, I would say we played really good in the second half. Pep, um, the club have accepted a bid for Laporte today. Do you still think you can convince him to stay? And will you want a replacement if he does go? Who? Laporte. It's a question of him and the club. I don't have anything to say. Uh, first, uh, congratulations, Pep, for the the win. Uh, I was thinking uh, the season starts with the European Cup that the uh, city did not did not have in their collection. Uh, until last year, uh, every year, every season, we knew that uh, the biggest goal for City is the Champions League. Now that this goal was achieved, does the mentality the mentality changes? I mean, sometimes when we achieve a big goal, uh, maybe we lose a part of our motivation. Uh, is it a danger that a coach has in his mind to, uh, and what he has to do to keep himself and his players motivated? Yeah, it's a, Thank good, you. It's a good question, but the same question I had when we made back-to-back -back Premier Leagues or three Premier Leagues in a row after was the... What I had the feeling in the pre-season, in a very bad condition to train in, in the game against us, and today I don't have that feeling. We can play better or worse, but I don't have that feeling. It can happen. It's recovered, the people now is injured and step by step, of course, we are not in the best, best moment, I would say. But uh, but knowing a little bit the players and the mentality, the staff, the backroom staff, I had the feeling that uh, we will try. We are really pleased to have already one title in this season. Really pleased for the club that this title didn't have it and now we have it. We missed just one to finish all circle and be able for this club to win all, all the titles we can have and uh, it happened in, in December when we go to Saudi Arabia to play there the World Cup uh, yeah I would say really really pleased a tight game like it happened in the in the final against Inter tight game and we lost in the last minute against Arsenal and the community shield and deflection so football in these stages in that moment in that period is a coin sometimes it never scored the second goal maybe it would be over we save it, and after the, the chances that we had, we could score before the penalty, kick, you know, uh, kick. So, but of course, tomorrow we'll be even more happier than today. Recover, not one drop of alcohol today. Recover as much as possible, because again, from Greece, thank you so much for the Premier League to let us play on Saturday and not on Sunday or Monday. Thank you so much. <laughs> Zoran Mishevski Media uh, Macedonio. Uh, Mister, ora buena por el, por el título. Uh, City ha terminado última, uh, última, tem última temporada, ha jugado con, con otro sistema de juego. Uh, ¿Por qué ustedes han cambiado la defensa? Eh, ¿Cómo llegó uh, la, la situación de jugar con Ake Central y Guardiol Lateral? Porque John Stones y Rubén están enfermos, mal lesionados y no pueden jugar. Entonces he puesto los jugadores que tenía disponibles y ellos tres han estado muy bien. Okay. Thank you. I will be back with the press conference of the man of the match also in Sevilla in a few moments. So, we are continuing with the press conferences post-match uh, Sevilla this time. We would like to congratulate for the very good performance at the nice, uh, Super Cup here in Athens. The floor is open for questions. Juan, please. Hola, buenas noches. Por favor, a la hora de formular vuestras preguntas, identificaros con nombre y medio. Tiago, can you check that? Yeah. Okay, so we can start, I think. Mister, eh, si merece ser orgulloso de sus jugadores, el, el plan estratégico funcionaba casi en todo el, el final para ti? A ver, el plan, el plan contra un equipo como... Buenas noches, primero. El plan contra un equipo como el City es muy complicado, ¿no? Eh, a, a mí me gustaría estar más tiempo en, en campo contrario y cerca de área, pero ellos te obligan y, y te tienen 
metido en tu área y bueno, lo bueno de nuestro ha sido que les hemos hecho daño, hemos creado peligro en el segundo tiempo, con 0-1 hemos tenido la posibilidad de meter el segundo gol, no hemos tenido el acierto, con el empate a uno hemos tenido la posibilidad de meter otra vez el segundo gol, tampoco hemos tenido acierto, pero creo que, creo que hemos hecho un buen partido, ¿no? creo que el... No es fácil hacerle ocasiones al City, creo que so, somos quizás el, el equipo que más ocasiones le ha hecho claras mano a mano con, con, el, con el portero. Nos ha faltado ese acierto ¿no? final para, para meter el segundo, porque ellos sabes que casi seguro que en, un, en, cada, en cada partido te van a meter uno por lo menos, ¿no? porque tienen tanto el balón cerca de tu, de tu portería que alguna tienen que acertar, tú casi tienes que hacer dos para, para ganarles. Próxima pregunta. Mister Julio Muñoz, para Morena, eh, hay una diferencia evidente en presupuesto, sin embargo en el campo no se ha notado. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se consigue eso, competir de igual a igual? Porque tampoco es un partido de encerrarse. Eh, estoy de acuerdo que se le ha hecho mucho daño al City y, y bueno, sobre el papel había un favoritismo claro. Enhorabuena por el partido. Sí, a ver, eh, los jugadores para estos partidos eh, cambian la mentalidad, eh, se creen importantes, se creen buenos y corren más que otros partidos porque, porque es una competición, es un rival de enfrente que, que es muy fuerte y normalmente eh, a un buen equipo no es fácil ganarle y nosotros somos un buen equipo porque tenemos buenos futbolistas, ¿no? y mentalizados además les va les va la marcha en ese sentido pues en la Europa League en, aunque de, 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 de siete solo se vea ha ganado una pero pero el, el, las veces que ha perdido ha perdido con pues eso, haciendo daño creando peligro y, y siendo fuertes ¿no? en la competición entonces lo importante de hoy pues que hemos competido muy bien contra un muy buen equipo eh, la mentalidad del, del futbolista que ahora está el trabajo mío es de, y del cuerpo técnico es de mantener esa mentalidad para el resto de los partidos ¿no? y, y, y competir como hemos competido hoy el resto de los partidos, que no es tan fácil. Quería, eh, buenas noches, señor Mendilibar. Quería hacerle una pregunta con respecto a un futuro ya muy cercano, porque se está hablando de Bono, ya le he escuchado decir que está más fuera que dentro. Está un poco preocupado, una vez que ha pasado esto, inquieto de, de estas dos próximas semanas, que lo que se haga en esta semana es lo que va a quedar para todo el año. ¿no? Sí, es incertidumbre. Eh, hasta el 1 de septiembre no sabes lo que puede pasar, qué es lo que puede llegar, qué es lo que puede marcharse, y es una pena, ¿no? Y lo he dicho 40.000 veces, que no entiendo cómo está esto montado así, pero es lo que hay y punto, pero sí eh, no sabemos con qué gente nos vamos a quedar eh, yo siempre he dicho, la temporada pasada dije que tenía unos buenos futbolistas y que me gustaría que por lo menos se quedaran esos buenos futbolistas, aunque no viniera ninguno más, pero estaba visto que es muy difícil que se vayan a quedar no están tocando las narices de todos los lados y al final pues lo normal es que se vayan, porque al final hablan con los jugadores antes que con el club, se ponen de acuerdo con los jugadores antes que con el club, ofrecen miseria al club, pero engañan al jugador. Entonces, ante eso es muy difícil. Y un jugador que tiene dos años de contrato, por ejemplo, y le están tocando las narices por ahí, entonces son cosas que no termino de, 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 de entender. Dice que hay sanciones y cosas de esas, pero no, 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 no las termino de ver. Hola, buenas noches, señor Mendilibar. ¿Dónde no te veo? Aquí, ah, perdón. César Fernández de Tigos por Latinoamérica. Eh, es una simple curiosidad, me gustaría saber, en el momento que usted cambia de ir la mela, eh, en un primer instante parece que al jugador, pues evidentemente, pues eh, sí. eh, no le gusta mucho el cambio. Eh, no, quiero saber simplemente si se veía el, el futbolista con mucha confianza para, para el lanzamiento de penalti cuando se cruza con usted, usted le agarra la, cora, la cara de, de forma paternal y hay una, un una breve intercambio ahí de, de opinión me equivoco yo, a quitarle porque si se hubiera quedado hasta el final hubiese sido uno de los que hubiese tenido penalti 
que no sé si lo hubiese metido o no, pero sí hubiese tirado, me equivoco yo, al, al quitarle, porque pensaba que el que entraba de parte de él también podía tirar un penalti, no por otra cosa, y podía estar mejor, en mejor situación que él. Y no, esa no ha sido así y, y me equivoco yo. No le hago la pregunta pensando creyendo en ningún momento que... que usted no, 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 se pero, no, 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 pero, ningún, pero no, te, te, te lo digo yo, porque, porque es así. Le agradezco la sinceridad y enhorabuena por el planteamiento del partido. Gracias. ¿Alguna pregunta más? Aquí atrás. Eh, buenas noches, señor Mendilibar. Por lo que he entendido, eh, quizás Uso entonces no ha querido tirar el penalti. No lo digo más. Vale, venga, hasta luego. Adiós. Buenas noches. Gracias.